With even greater emphasis on climate change and the impact of individuals' carbon footprint, people are looking for alternatives to single-use plastics and packaging and are also becoming more conscious of where food is produced and the impact that food miles have on the environment. One of the solutions to reducing food miles and food packaging waste is to grow your own produce at home. And a great way to do this is by using a polytunnel. But isn't a polytunnel a metal frame with a big plastic sheet over it? How can that help with climate and environmental issues? Well, with all things in life, there are impacts. And yes, a polytunnel needs to be manufactured and it does make use of plastic. But what needs to be considered is how a polytunnel performs compared to the alternatives. Just think of the food miles that are built up from growing tomatoes in Spain, most of which are grown in polytunnels, packaging them up in plastic and driving them halfway across Europe to be stored in a supermarket, which the customer has to commute to. What better way to help the environment than to grow your own tomatoes and other produce in a polytunnel that can be in your own garden or allotment with no need for plastic packaging? There are the manufacturing aspects as well. An average polytunnel cover has a warranty of seven years, but it's not uncommon for them to last 20 years. The polythene is LDPE4, so can be recycled or reused in the garden. If you compare this to a glass house, a polytunnel requires a much smaller initial investment and can potentially pay for itself in one growing season. The environmental impact of producing a polythene cover is much less than producing glass. Polytunnels tend to retain heat more efficiently in the winter and can be installed and dismantled very easily. And if you compare this to maintaining a fleet of HGVs and the fuel needed for transportation, the ecological cost is much greater than using a polytunnel. The environmental benefits of using polytunnels are plentiful. From all year round growing, resulting in better yield and quality, generating full-time and seasonal employment, reducing need to use pesticides, no need for wasteful packaging, protection from extreme weather conditions, an ideal environment for beneficial insects, less water is used through trickle irrigation and plant food amounts can be controlled. So, in conclusion, yes, there are environmental impacts of producing a polytunnel, but these are outweighed by the benefits they bring compared to the alternative methods that are currently being used today. Here at First Tunnels, we are committed to becoming an environmentally friendly company. Our policy is to only use timber materials from reputable suppliers, and becoming an FSC certified member shows that First Tunnels complies with ethical forest management and have attained the high industry standards required. Our production facility makes use of the latest environmentally friendly technologies, such as solar panels for our energy needs, and there are electric charging points on site as we move from fossil fuel to electric motoring. It's increasingly important to know you're choosing from a reliable company. And here at First Tunnels, we are ISO 9001 accredited, we have a five-star trust pilot score, and we are a living wage committed company.